ladies and jellyfish, shalom, and welcome back to Ask Air. Welcome back to part two of this four part series, ranking all the Ben 10 aliens show by show. Today it's time to look at the 13 Alien Force aliens from Swampfire to Nanomech, and rank them all from worst to best. With no other real explanation needed, let's start at the bottom of the barrel. Ben's smallest alien also happens to be one of his weakest, and among the Alien Force roster, it definitely lasts place here. There's not really much here aside from a small alien to fly into small places and mess with the machine's wiring, but that's nothing a slightly bigger Grey Matter couldn't do before, and in a much funnier way, mind you. Nanomech's only real power is shooting little lasers, but they're so small that it serves more as a joke alien for Gwen to catch in her spellbook, rather than anything truly menacing or cool. Magnetism! A truly interesting idea that, to be fair, was one of a kind as of Alien Force and Load Star. But after we see the potential of an alien like Gravitike later in Omniverse, it really diminishes this alien, especially because the potential for this was so much more than they implemented here. Why make him a humanoid robot when he could just be an entire planet? I mean, I do like how he's made up of magnets and his head floating is cool, but the rest of him just seems lackluster and bland. Not terrible, and again, I'm not taking originality points away from it, because Load Star was the first magnetism alien. But in terms of execution, it could have been improved tenfold. I know there's a lot of niche love out there for Jet Ray, so cut me some slack here. Most of the Alien Force roster is already amazing, and most of these aliens I don't really have a problem with like I did with the classic roster, but Jet Ray is generally a very run-of-the-mill alien. Sure, he can fly in space at supersonic speeds, and he kind of looks cool with a different color scheme, and some other third thing, but almost Jet Ray's entire premise feels bland and predictable to me. It's like an AI generation of a Ben 10 alien. He flies, he shoots laser, but not only out of his eyes, also out of his tail. He's voiced by D. Baker, and oh, he also looks like a manta ray. No wonder they totally shafted him in Omniverse. When you put it next to Stink Fly and Big Chill, he's pretty much useless. Spider Monkey is to Ben 10 Aliens what Rex is to Toy Story. The story really wouldn't be that different without him, but there's something about him that just fits in with the rest of the cast. Enough said. One of Ben's funniest aliens in my opinion, unintentionally, I just love the stupid ass idea of having a genius alien that's also a crab, who has this giant brain that he can shoot electricity out of, and fly, and have telekinesis. Seriously though, other than that epic Avengers battle with Brainstorm, he was seriously underutilized throughout the shows. I love his design, especially his voice, and his powers are kinda repetitive with the other aliens, but sort of stand on their own crab legs as well when you take all their different types of shocks he sends into consideration. So all things considered, that's why Brainstorm is here on this ranking. You know what? I made an entire video about Alien X, and still, I'm with this dude. After all the hype, the Alien X smoothie was a real disappointment. Kind of tastes like filler. It did taste like filler, didn't it? A lot of hype for ultimately Ben's strongest and weakest alien simultaneously. Now, as we all know, Alien X really takes off after Omniverse, and I expand on this greatly in my Alien X video. But in Alien Force, we only get one episode dedicated to Alien X, and it's ultimately extremely disappointing given how much hype he had in the commercials and the theme song as this legendary 10th alien that was going to take the world by storm. He sort of did that later, but not as of Alien Force or Ultimate Alien for that matter. So I think it's fair to put him somewhere in the middle here. Judging from my daily community posts, which you guys should definitely be following, you guys seem to love Big Chill. And I don't really understand it past a certain extent. Sure, his voice and chilling personality are awesome, and the way he can come off as extremely on ice but also have a menacing aura is a really nice combination that very few aliens can pull off. His design is also really good, at least the UAF design, and ultimately there's very little holding this alien back. I agree that Big Chill is an amazing alien, but it's just not my alien, you know? I find him to be physically weak, which is technically true, but I love the ghost abilities, the flight, and the freezing, obviously. Big Chill is pretty dope. Ben's strongest alien, eh, maybe not, is Humongosaur. Being one of the sheer strength aliens alongside Forearms, who I compared both of another video, Humongosaur is just the definition of cool. Especially as a kid, I'm totally with Kid Ben on this one. Lame. Weak. Guess this one's okay. Humongosaur offers very few abilities aside from being Colossal Oak of a dino, who demolishes everything in his path. And honestly, that's enough for a lot of fans, including myself. He's just fun to watch because he's so menacing and freaky. Except for when he gets his head stepped on by Vilgax, and a weird change in size between them. Yeah, what was that all about again? Let me tell you something, random idiot watching this video. Ask your loves to plug his stupid videos here and there, but his truly best video has to be a stupid video all about wrath and how legendary wrath is as an alien. Wrath can run on walls, yell at everyone and everything, and beat anyone in a fight. Sometimes we need to hit things a lot, and wrath is great at that. That's why wrath should be number one on this list, but Astyr is just too stupid to do it already. 
Obviously, Echo Echo's ultimate form is much superior, as I discussed in my video about that. But talking about his base form only, Echo Echo is one of Ben's most versatile aliens, being basically indestructible since he can just keep duplicating and duplicating, and having a sonic shriek that can defeat almost any enemy. Echo Echo is also cute, sounds cool, and has a simple design that looks awesome. Chroma Stone is just a definition of cool. Being sort of like this show's Diamond Head, he presents a more slick side of the alien roster and comes off as incredibly cool to watch every time he's on screen. His pink and purple color scheme is really nice. I love this slim rock physique quite a bit, and the rainbow colors of his energy look really good, combined with the way he can shoot out of his hands and eye. It becomes Ben's main alien to handle any electrical situations or absorb large amounts of energy, and can touch anything unsafe to other aliens for fear of getting fried. Overall, Chroma Stone's a go-to alien that was unfortunately shunned majorly in his appearances, especially when he got his ass kicked by Vilgax in the Vengeance Special. Goop is a guilty pleasure alien of mine because I just love simplicity in everything, whether it's designs, powers, or a combination of both, which you know if you're a subscriber, and Goop is pretty much the epitome of simplicity in every way. I love the simple green design, the concept of being bent slime alien to curl into tight places or get out of a sticky situation, and the whole anti-gravity projector idea is pretty clever and gives Goop a fair vice to go along with his abilities. However, the only problem I have with it is the incredibly inconsistent way it disappears when he crawls under doors, and it seems like the projector is never there when it's inconvenient to the plot. Anyway, you can also shoot acid balls, burn things with his hands, pretty much fly, and survive any attacks on his body. It's a complicated relationship, but I love Goop. <laughs> Ben's first alien force transformation also happens to be the coolest. Once again, if you're new to the channel, I don't want to just keep plugging and plugging, but I've made videos on many of the aliens mentioned here today, and one of them is also Swampfire when I compared him to Heat Blast. Swampfire is versatile, agile, and looks awesome. His green slim design is amazing, and his powers couple together fabulously to make this plant fire hybrid alien that utilizes all these powers in an amazing way. Again, you've heard me talk about him before, if you haven't, you just need to subscribe already, so you already know why I love him, and why he deserves to be number one on this entire list. And that was the Benton Alien Force roster ranked. What do you guys think? Which alien won this battle for you? Be sure to let me know all that in the comments down below, and please like and subscribe if you did enjoy to support me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you beautiful ladies and jellyfish next time. Shalom!